With your latest Miami Heat Ask Ira Mailbag, I'm Ira Winderman from SunSentinel.com. Our first question today comes from Joel, who asks, Ira, signing Dion Waiters is a good move. However, it magnifies, why did they match the Tyler Johnson contract? He will now become the third off guard behind Waiters and Josh Richardson. How many guards are now under contract? Well, Joel, the Heat already have Waiters, Johnson, Richardson, Goran Dragic, Wayne Ellington, Briante Weber, and Rodney Magruder all under contract in their increasingly crowded backcourt. But I don't think you look at a one-year deal impacting the long-term stability. That's what the Heat are trying to do. They're trying to do that with Josh Richardson. They're trying to do that with Tyler Johnson. That's where I think you have the question. If you added someone like Deion Waiters and he takes the minutes of one of those players, then it seems to me that he's really cutting into what really matters, and that's the long view for the Heat. I think you can solve that a little bit if you know Chris Bosh or if Pat Riley knows that Bosh is not coming back. Then you can play Josh Richardson a bit more at small forward and buy time with Justice Winslow at power forward. But I do appreciate your point, and I do think for all that Pat Riley has done, probably if you knew that Dion Waiters would have been available, I'm not so sure that he would have been as quick to sign Wayne Ellington. Our second question comes from Manny, who asks, I think Dion Waiters sees the opportunity of starting in Miami and cashing in after one year. Manny, I'm sure that's what he's thinking. But again, that goes to the first question here. If Dion Waiter does step up his game and does have a big year, he's not going to pick up the option year in his contract. He's going to opt back out. And that means the Heat will have to use salary cap space to retain him when they're looking to use salary cap space elsewhere. To me, that's why instead of Dion Waiters, you develop the potential of Tyler Johnson and of Josh Richardson and some of your other guards who you already have under somewhat longer term contract. We'll see how it plays out and maybe the Heat are only looking to the short view, which is fine. But I think it does raise range somewhat of long range questions. And our third question today comes from John who asks, what number will Dion Waiters wear on the Heat? Surely the front office will not allow him to wear Dwayne Wade's number. If they do allow that, that decision seems to lack tact, awareness, and respect. John, I can assure you that no player will wear number three again for the Heat, and the next time you'll see a number three Heat uniform will be when it's raised to the rafters at American Airlines Arena. In fact, I think the next time you'll see number six is also when it's raised to the rafters. I think Dwayne Wade knows he will be the last Heat player to wear number three. And that number will only be on display in honor of him going forward. Those are today's three questions. We'll be back tomorrow with three more. For SunSentinel.com, I'm Ira Winderman.